Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Matt Pearsall. Thank you very much for joining us all here for the next in our social emotional learning and education speaker series. Uh, this week, I am really thrilled to be able to bring you all one of the one of the original members of the social emotional learning and education community, uh, Carl Mercury. He is the social emotional learning coordinator at the Priory School in Montreal, Canada, uh, and he is going to be joining us today to talk about the VIA Character Strength Survey and how uh, we can use this this free tool. Uh, to support social, social, social emotional learning work we're doing. Uh, so Carl, could you take a moment and uh, introduce yourself a little bit, talk about your, a little bit about your background and um, get started on this conversation? Thanks for having me, Matt. Um, and I guess what a privilege it is to, to get to um, speak to everyone within the community. Uh, just a little bit of background about myself. I am working at a beautiful elementary school in Montreal, Canada called The Priory. My role is the SEL coordinator there. And also um, I look after a, a little grade four class and that's what I do day to day. And then uh, actually week to week and month to month, I've, I've actually got a private consulting company. So I go out and I help um, spread the SEL word and help uh, schools across Montreal um, implement SEL and make it a whole school practice you know, implicit in and explicit types teaching and, and uh, best practices. So that's, that's a little bit about me. Um, but in terms of the VIA character strength survey, I was really lucky about eight, nine years ago, working at a, a great school in, in Melbourne, Australia. And uh, we had uh, Dr. Lee Waters come in. And uh, Dr. Lee Waters provided us with professional development. And Dr. Lee Waters is, I would say, at the forefront of positive education back in Australia and works out of um, Melbourne University. Mm -hmm. And through, I guess, uh, the professional development, we, we become aware of, of the VIA character strengths, uh, how it fits into positive psychology, and also what strength-based education actually looks like. So that was great. And ever since then, I'm, I'm using it in school now and I have, I'm forever using it and, and, and promoting the, the benefits of it across other schools. And so, yeah, so that's, that's a, a bit of background about that. Mm -hmm. um, but I guess the first thing I wanted to do is just make a little bit of a connection for everyone between the actual strengths themselves and the uh, SEL competencies. So we're talking about strengths. And we're actually talking, when we talk about the character strengths, we're talking about these positive uh, traits, okay? And basically, if we're to make a connection, um, and they're human traits, sorry. And so if we're to make a connection, um, self-awareness would be understanding my character strengths. And later on, I'm going to talk about signature strengths and the importance of them. And so understanding what my signature strengths are. Um, the next would be uh, self-management. So now that I have an awareness of my own strengths, how do I use them then to achieve my goals? Um, social awareness is having the understanding of other people's strengths. Uh, relationship skills, how can I use my strengths and other people's strengths to create these positive, authentic type relationships? And then the last one is responsible decision making. So having both awarenesses of myself and others, and then putting that together to, to you know, make decisions that have a positive impact on myself, on others, and the wider community. So there's there's a lot of connections to be made between strength work and SEO. Um, and I just thought that would be a really good starter for today. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Go on, Matt. Oh, I just, I'm just agreeing with you. I'm just, I'm, I'm excited to hear about it. I yeah. think because I, because I agree. I think there's a lot of connections between these two. Sure. So what I'm going to do is I, I'm going to go straight to the website itself, and I'll share the screen now. So can you, you can see that, can you? Matt? Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this is the, uh, the the front page of the website, um, and 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 there's so many different components to this website. But what we might do is we might actually start with the character strengths themselves, just so we get have a, an awareness of what they the, the 24 character strengths are. So if I just get to the list for you, and I'm going to just scroll down to here. And as you can see, 
just to give you an idea, and I'll give you a bit of background on these character strengths. But as you can see here, right at the top, these are virtues. Okay, so the mm -hmm. wisdom, the courage, the humanity, the justice, the temperance, and so on, they're our virtues. And then below are the actual, the character strengths. So basically in the early 2000s, um, there was a really big character study headed by Dr. Martin Seligman and uh, Dr. Chris Peterson. Mm -hmm. And this resulted in the VIA classification of character strengths and virtues, which is a classification of positive traits in human beings, basically. And through this research, it was proven that we as humans have specific con constellations of character strengths that make us unique. So when we actually do this survey, the numerical, numerical order in which it comes out will be different between all of us. And that's where the constellations come into play. Um, so character strengths are positive traits, capacities humans have for thinking, for feeling and behaving in ways that benefit themselves and others. And specifically, they're the ingredients for displaying virtues of human goodness. So the virtues are what lead us to this meaningful life. And the character strengths is what helps us achieve the actual virtues. Mm. And I'll show you how this works in a second. And just to give you an idea, um, it's important to know when taking the survey that in the positive psychology realm, because this is part of positive psychology, mm -hmm. um, that the top five character strengths at in, within the results of your survey are your what we call your signature strengths. And this is really what differentiates you from someone else. Okay, And these are the strengths specific to your identity, how we understand ourselves, and wish others to under understand us, basically. And so I, I was just going through the strengths here. But one thing I really wanted to highlight, and I might just go back to the top, is that, you know, when I was talking about virtues, if I want to achieve a sense of wisdom within my life, then I need to work on the following character strengths. So it, it, it categorizes it for us. So wisdom is related to creativity, curiosity, judgment, love of learning and perspective. Courage is bravery, honesty, perseverance and zest. Humanity is kindness, love and social intelligence. And we've got our justice, which is fairness, leadership and teamwork. And in the last two, temperance, which is forgiveness, hum humility, prudence, and self-regulation. And the last one, transcendence, appreciation of beauty, gratitude, oh. hope, humor, and spirituality. Mm -hmm. So it's a great, it's a great, I really do like this because it does really give us an idea of how do I actually achieve the achieve these virtues? I need to work on these specific character strengths. Mm -hmm. All right. So I wanted to highlight the actual survey itself. And just to give everyone an idea, when we're working with um, strength-based work, in, and in particular, the VIA character strengths, we're really talking about our middle schoolers and senior school students. So the high schoolers, so our youth, basically. All right, and this is really um, important, uh, an important part of their social emotional learning development is working through their strengths. Okay, so the survey, I'm gonna demonstrate and show you um, the free version, but there are uh, versions that have come with a cost um, and, I'll, and I'll show you the, the, the differences later and what you get for the free version and the ones that come with the cost. But just to give you a bit of extra information here, we've got two different surveys. We've got one for adults and you've also got a youth survey. And basically both surveys have 96 questions and both surveys roughly take between 10 to 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, the youth survey, which I'm going to show you today, uh, is for um, those students between the ages of 10 and 17. Now, I've, I've been through this process many times. And if you're going to do this with 10 and 11-year-olds, you will need to help them, um, I guess, comprehend some of the questions and make, I guess, connections and articulate and just, just really understand what the questions 
are all about because mm -hmm. some of them might find it a little bit difficult. So let's actually have a look at, at the youth survey. I'll just put a, a makeshift name in. And here you go. This is a sample of the first page of the survey. So it's very, very clear. You've got your questions on the left-hand side. Um, and, and I guess the categories are the most important that the kids really need to understand when they're answering the surveys is that not only do they read the question, but what does very much like me, what does it actually mean? Or mostly like me, what does this actually mean? And somewhat like me and a little like me and not like me at all. So, um, and to make connections, it's, it's really difficult at times for some of the kids Mm -hmm. to, I guess, make those connections to some of the questions. But I guess that's why you're there to, to just help them out as a, as a teacher, mm -hmm. basically. So that's what the survey looks like and the structure of the survey. Um, and, and not only uh, you, you, does it look like this, you can always come back. So you can start to complete it. And if it's, you know, if you're running out of time, you can always log back in and continue your survey and so on. So it has... Um, this, that type of structure, basically. So on completion of the survey, if I go to my account here, what happens is you get emailed a report and you can also, when you log in, you can also view your report. So I'm going to share a report that I completed recently. This is you? Yeah, this is going to be mine. <laughs> And here you go, which is really cool. So, and you get this in an email, you get this as a PDF also. So my five character strengths, um, my, sorry, my, my signature strengths are honesty, love of learning, humility, self-regulation and leadership. And the beauty is it, it continues. So it keeps on going. So my middle strengths, the teamwork, fairness, perspective, social intelligence. I won't read them all out, but you can see how it started, starts to categorize them. And then you've got your lesser strengths, okay? Which are zest and love and humor and spirituality and appreciation of beauty. And I guess what we need, really, we need to highlight is these are strengths. These are uh, what we can continue to improve on at all times. And, and depending on where we are in life and, and depending on maturity and depending on external influences and depending on current circumstances and passion and so on, um, depending on when you do this survey, possibly the order of, of, of your strengths may, might change. And that's something that we need to teach our students to become aware of, okay? Um, just to give you an idea at the bottom here, this is what I can now also download. So the free version, I can download my order of ranking and the definitions of, of the actual character strengths. But the paid versions, you've got, uh, basically you get a little bit more information just to summarize it in full. Mm -hmm. so, the, so the other thing I just wanted to highlight on the website is, is the professional tab here. Um, so if I go to this and we go to working with youth, I wanted to highlight this part because whoever is gonna, going to use this, there's some really important resources and information here, especially if we're using this with our middle schoolers and, mm. and senior school students. So you've got your information on, on you know, um, how to implement it in the classroom, some information for counsellors. But what I wanted to show you is this resource, these two resources here are really important to share with the students. So the downloadable um, resources here on the right hand side. You've got some other in information also. And this report is a really important report to, to read if you're going to delve deep into strength based practices. Another thing we've got some information here for the school social workers and therapists any mentors within the school and the educators themselves also. Okay. 
So what I might do, Matt, if you don't mind, I might mm-hmm. just um, just go back to our discussion. Sure. And let's go through some um, some benefits of as to why we should be, you know, yeah. doing a survey and, and yeah, yeah. the importance of character strengths. So basically, if we really think of our middle schoolers and, and senior school, so our, our youth at school, um, what they're really looking for is they're searching for those answers of life purpose, aren't they? They're searching for direction. They're searching for some guidance. And so by doing strength work and by doing, um, you know, your VIA character strength analysis, you're providing them with those little answers to help guide them in certain directions, to help give them an idea of, oh, this is my strengths. Possibly I can take this path to, you know, when it comes to employment or even just making decisions, basically, you know. Um, so another reason is, you know, now more than ever, we're in, we're in a, uh, a predicament of a, of a pandemic, aren't we, you know, mm-hmm. and, and we're really focusing on the negatives and, and with this negative bias. And so any form of strength-based work helps us start to refrain. Mm-hmm. So it helps us, you know, positive psychology is all about uh, looking at what's right with us instead of what's wrong with us. You know, positive st- psychology is all about um, what I can do instead of what I can't do. You know, it mixes the growth mindset into play. Mm-hmm. So it's the reframing that really does help us out by doing some form of strength work and especially in schools and helping uh, the students really um, look at what their strengths actually are and creating that awareness. And the last thing is any form of strength-based work, um, the research shows that it obviously helps with our students' well-being. It helps with student engagement, and it also helps with academic performance. Mm-hmm. So, and there's that interplay. You know, if you look at the research of social emotional learning, it's very similar. All, all of that really does play hand in hand. Mm-hmm. Um, so what I wanted to explain and give s- some people that are listening in and watching and eventually watching is some concrete ideas as to what it actually looks like in, in yeah, the- how you're using this, how you, how you use this with your students. Yeah. yeah. So, so I'm, I'm, I was lucky. I, I, I was working with a gentleman years ago and he, and he used to do what we call um, a personal branding activity. Oh, and so what I've, what I'm doing now with my teens and they absolutely love it is, is uh, I, I, it's a, it's actually a personal branding activity. I've, I've mod, uh, modified his version by using character strengths. So what we do mm-hmm. is we, uh, we uh, brainstorm brands that appeal to the students themselves um, and figure out why it actually appeals to them. So it might be Apple, for example, it always comes up. Apple always mm-hmm. comes up. And so we would, um, you know, really delve deep into why, why is Apple such an appealing and successful brand? And then the, the students will come up with words such as innovation and connectivity and, uh, and reliability. And then I would say to them, all right, so let, now let's, let's, you've got your signature strengths. You've got five signature strengths. If you were to brand yourself using those signature strengths, what would it look like? Mm-hmm. What would it sound like? What would your slogan sound like? What would your, uh, um, you know, your actual brand, like the logo look like? And so they delve deep into, and it's a really great activity for them mm-hmm. to figure out, you know, how do I want people to perceive me in regards to my kind of strengths? So, yeah. so that's a really great, great activity in a way that you can use strengths. Mm-hmm. Um, another way would be the community circles. I know a lot of schools use community circles. Mm-hmm. And why not, you know, and we know that community circles are quite impactful in terms of creating a sense of community and, and, and giving student, student voice, mm-hmm. but why not drive a conversation with character strengths, you know, target a type of, you know, our, our, our strength for the week, the week is love of learning. What does that actually look like? Drive mm-hmm. a discussion of love of learning and, and um, make some form of, connection and understanding so through your community circles it can be quite powerful Mm -hmm. another way that i've seen it is by actually having strength walls in the classroom so have the students names and have their 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 signature strengths beside them 
So it creates a sense of social awareness, doesn't it? You know, when we become mm-hmm. aware of other people's strengths within the classroom, mm-hmm. I can go to this person for this, you know, yeah. situation. I can, when I'm, when I'm collaborating with someone, I know this person's strength is this and, and so on. So it gives an, a form of awareness. Yeah. And it's an interesting, it's an interesting turn because I think a lot of times people would hesitate to, to publicly post something about, have students publicly post kind of personal information about it but when you're framing it in a strengths based way it's not it doesn't have that same connotation you're really like highlighting highlighting things about the students that they would that they want other people to know about yeah and and i guess the other thing is it's a sort of way of celebrating diversity isn't yeah. it yeah like a different way of saying mm-hmm. let's celebrate diversity and mm-hmm. social awareness is about becoming aware of of the diverse diversity within our and within our mm-hmm. cultures and within society basically so so um yeah for me that's a really good way of and like you said it's a positive way of celebrating mm-hmm. uh, those strengths mm-hmm. and i guess the last way and if we're talking about adult cell why not use use the results and get the staff to do a, mm-hmm. a based survey and yeah. figure out what their strengths are and and i've, I've been um uh, I guess at a school where we had to actually take the survey and this was at the start of the year mm-hmm. and before we would go into our PLC or PLT teams, depending on what, what country you're in and what acronym you use, but whatever mm-hmm. teams that you're uh, uh, working in, um, share the strengths so that we create that form of awareness and then it becomes that collaborative type of approach amongst the mm-hmm. teachers and you're just going down a path of success, aren't you? And yeah. So, so, um, so yeah, that's my way of, I guess, making some form of connections for the, for the educators and for mm-hmm. the students themselves. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, that's, that's really about it in terms of the character strengths. And- cool. Well, thank you so much for, for taking time out of your day to come and join, join the community and share and share about, uh, share about this tool. Uh, uh, for those of you interested, the, uh, the, the, the link to to the to the to the survey and all of the VIA materials is in the chat here, uh, and um, and I just want to say on behalf of everybody at the social emotional learning education community, uh, thank you, Carl, for taking the time, and also thank you for all of the support that you give us every day. I mean, if, if for anybody who's been in edu- SEL education community for any time is familiar with you and 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 just the the amazing dedication you have to social emotional learning, and I. Thank just, you, Matt. I really, so appreciative. Yeah, I really appreciate it. And you know what? It's not just me. It's all everyone within that community. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I thank them actually for sharing the amount of resources that that they're sharing. But not only that, for being so um, willing to to when people are reaching out, it's such a community that, community that's so involved, aren't they? Mm-hmm. You, you ask a question, you get an answer, and it's a great, yeah. great community to be in. Yeah. So, thank you. so yeah, absolutely, and. For those of you who are who are watching outside of the community, I just want to let you know that uh, that you are welcome to join it. We're it's a it's a it's a public community on Facebook. Here's the link right here. Uh, we would love to have you as a member, so feel free to 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 come on over and join us at facebook.com slash groups slash SEL and SEL and EDU. Uh, and uh, and until next time, thank you all for tuning in. Really appreciate you taking the time to join us today.